Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to check out the X-ray of this patient. And remember, this is a medical emergency. This uh, is the X-ray of gas under diaphragm. Okay, so whenever you're checking out uh, any X-ray, do not jump into the direct diagnosis. Always look out for the normal things and then the abnormal things. And remember, you are never ever going to see an X-ray or any radiological images without the history of the patient. History of the patient is very, very, very important along with the radiographical image you are never supposed to diagnose anything without without the history of the patient it is absolutely very very important so now just whenever you see an x-ray just very quick see for the angle see for the angles will be sharp angles will be sharp this is the gas under the stomach that is normal see for the size of the heart is there any heart failure the size will go up okay and then see for the bronchiovascular margins yes margins are normal that means there is no chance of pneumothorax along with the c for the color of the lungs is it very dark or what if it is very very dark that's a pathological c for the segments of this part and this compare this part and this and this middle middle lower lower right along with the c for the ribs is there any fracture of the ribs all the ribs you have to check for c for the clavicle c for the trachea uh, the, uh, the air inside the tracheal which will appear is black should be in the center should not be deviated to left or right along with this see for how many uh, the, uh, the processes are you able to see if you are able to see around 4 that is perfect that means the adequate exposure has been done now very important if we directly jump into this uh, case of the patient if you see you are able to see a gas here this is the gas this is the gas this one this one is your gas this part is that right this is an absolutely medical emergency gas here is normal this is the gas which is present inside the stomach here is very high chance that there is any perforation of the small intestine right so how do you know the patient is having this obviously when you check the patient he might tell that yes he might be having an history of peptic ulcer disease very commonly he might be having a peptic ulcer disease right he might be having burning sensation he might be after eating food or before if when he's empty stomach or after eating food if the pain increases or he might be taking a lot of anesthetics and a lot of painkillers and a lot of alcohol and he might give a history of abdominal pain which suggests of having an uh, uh, peptic ulcer disease ulceration that means whenever there's an ulcer it can perforate and then the gas will come and accumulate here please remember this is a medical emergency this x-ray is known as gas under the diaphragm it's an absolutely medical emergency most common will be your peptic ulcer perforation hollow viscous perforation that means wherever your small intestine is there it, if it perforates yes you'll be having this gas under the diaphragm right Okay, so it was a quick video about gas under diaphragm, very commonly seen in uh, emergency room and um, general surgery. And that's all for this video. Thanks.